Hello. I'm going to read a wonderful book to you by a lady who is a great uh, artist and storyteller. Her name is Barbara Helen Berger, and she's written a lot of better known books. She's written some books we have many copies of at school uh, called uh, what, <laughs> now, Grandfather Twilight and one called The Sun, about the, one's one about the sunrise. I can't remember the name of it. This one's called All the Way to Laza. And it's a story, I think the preschoolers, especially the older ones, can appreciate it. But, but her, her paintings are very beautiful. And I think it may be a uh, classic Tibetan story. <clears throat> There's a little picture at the beginning. Long ago, I'll read the pages first and then I'll show the pictures. There's not many words on a page. Long ago in the land of Tibet, an old woman sat by the road to the holy city, the road that went to the holy city of Lhasa. There you see the old woman sitting there alongside the road. A horse and a rider came galloping up to her. How far is it to Lhasa, ma'am? asked the rider. Oh, it's very far, said the old woman. You'll never make it there before night. But the rider kicked his horse and galloped off in a cloud of dust as fast as he could. Mm -hmm. Then a boy came, walking along with his yak, one foot in front of the other. There's the boy, there's the woman, and the boy with his yak. A yak, as I tell the preschoolers, is a big animal, a little bit like a in the cow family, you could say, like an ox with a lot of hair, very thick fur, because it, Tibet is very high in the mountains, and it gets very cold there. It's a big animal. It also gives milk, and it carries their packs, as you can see. <clears throat> How far is it to Lhasa? the boy asked. Oh, the woman said to him also, very far. But then listen to what she says to the boy. <clears throat> she says, but you can make it there before night. Huh, she told a rider on a fast horse that he would never make it there before night. This boy who was walking with his yak, she told him he will make it. Hmm. So the boy gave his yak a gentle tug and kept on walking. <clears throat> One foot in front of the other, he climbed a steep and very windy mountain slope. Look at those pretty flags that they have there. They're called prayer flags that they put out in Tibet. <clears throat> he thought the torrents in the river would just sweep him away. Look, he's crossing on such a narrow and rickety little uh, plank of wood for a bridge. He thought he would be lost in the snows. He got, I guess he climbed up higher on the way to Lhasa, and, the, and there wasn't, there was snow, a lot of snow. There's his yak. <clears throat> he thought the dark would come, and he would never make it to the holy city of Lhasa. Dark clouds, they sort of almost have a face. <clears throat> but still the boy kept walking on and on with his steady yak, one foot 
in front of the other. You can see that's them. They're so small in such a vast landscape that the artist painted here. <clears throat> then he came to the fallen horse and rider. The rider could not make it, and he fell asleep by his horse on the way, just like the lady said. They had run so hard they could run no more, and they lay there snoring. The boy wanted to lie down too, but he gave his yak a gentle tug and kept on walking. Then in the last rays of sunshine before night, he heard deep horns calling. You can see the horns. You can see little in the clouds there are people blowing the horns or I don't know if they're angels or what. And the sun is going down there. <clears throat> he heard bells. And he heard drums. Boom, boom, boom. Emaho, I made it. He made it to the holy city of Lhasa. He and his yak, they walked all the way and they made it before night. One foot is the city, which is the city in Tibet, which is far, far away on the other side of the world from the United States. In Asia, in very high mountains called the Himalayas. One foot in front of the other, all the way, there he is ent entering the city, all the way to the holy city of Lhasa. And look who got there even before he did. Hmm. The end. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed that story.